Hello again. Been spending a few late nights eBaying, as you do. And I managed to grab this wonderful GPU. Now, you might not think it's much, it's only a GeForce 8600 GT, but I've been after one of these for a while because I'm building, want to build a slightly older machine that can run uh, mid XP games just for a bit of fun. Uh, who remembers this guy? I know they still use the brand, but uh, esports before esports. And how much he gets paid these days? But anyway, we have a Fatality GeForce 8600 GT professional series because, yeah, a whole 256 meg DDR3 and 620 megahertz. Blistering fast. Let's have a quick look. Now, I believe this is used even though it's come in the box. Oh, look at that green. But, I do love graphics cards from this era. They are a bit crazy. Anything else come in the box? Oh, we have, what's this? We have a, oh, we have a pointless driver CD. Though sometimes useful for older drivers actually. And ah, did anyone ever really use these things? Oh, what's this? What does it now? They strive to bring the best performance out of your graphics card. You always ship the best drivers. Oh, okay, sure. If you say so. Anything else in here? Any other goodies? Oh, we have goodies. We have a very inflated DVI to VGA. We've got. What were we using that? Ooh, is that a black? Oh, nice black. Quick installation guide. Let me guess. Put it in the thing. Uh, unplug stuff. Take graphics card. Find the right slot. Insert number one. Put Gale back in. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, discharge yourself, find a piece of express slot, yeah. Well, nice instructions, nothing else in the box. Well, other than the, the S-Video cable. Won't be using that, unfortunately. Well, I don't know, you never know. But here's the card itself. Now, isn't that just a wonderful... Let me zoom out, actually. Wonderful looking design. Oops. All this um, kind of smells a bit old. I'm guessing it's been in storage for a while. But look at that. Passively cool graphics card. We have a quite a large monster of a heatsink on the top of the card. Very strange. But look at that. I hope I have a case that actually fits it properly, but you know. <laughs> It's fun, regardless. Good old SLI. But, uh, in green. Because you like a bit of green. Black bracket. But yeah, that's very nice and clean. Plastic there, for some reason. Is that plastic? How strange. But yeah, look at that wonderful looking card. Need to build a machine to actually use this now. I don't have a green machine that I can test it in, but it's not going to be... Period correct now, is it? What we got? Focus. GeForce 8600 GT. 600M. I suppose the MSNC megahertz. 256 megabytes DDR3. DVI, PCI Express, TV. Yeah. This is going to be fun. I just bought it because of this. This is amazing. Don't know how hot it's going to get, or if it needs any kind of additional cooling but it looks pretty substantial for a card of his day and it's not exactly the fastest so yeah we'll have a look at this later let's pop this back in the box for another day I'm sure it goes back in first we get a nice shot while 
I'll destroy my set. We have here. Wonderful. Can't open the shot. Like yeah, that. Move you out the way. Look at that. That's a proper graphics card. Let's quickly box all this back up then. Yeah, I think the glue's long gone on that. I always find it a pain getting these back in. Especially when it's such a weird shape. You can always get one by in, but never the other. There we go. In you go. Back into storage for another day. Hope you're not too long because I'm looking forward to playing with that. How's it going? That way? Yeah. He says. Russell, Russell. Assemble the box. Put all his goodies back in. Put them all back in badly. Don't ever find you can never get these things back in. back in. Ah, oh, that's going to be fun. So pop you back in there. I must admit, I do hate cards with sleeves like this. Just print it on the box. There we go. All snug for another day. Goodbye.